Crypto Activator here and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to show you how to use a bridge to buy other cryptos on other blockchains and start swapping and using the other blockchain. So let's get started. Okay guys, I want to show you and I want to teach you how to use a bridge, bridge over to any blockchain, buy any crypto on any blockchain. That way, with this skill, you will be able to be ahead of any retail crypto buyer that then comes into crypto. Why? Because, hey, let's take for example, if you want to buy a new crypto that's just coming out or just recently, you know, was launched on a blockchain somewhere. Well, before it ever goes to a centralized exchange it's on the blockchain and you can go and buy that crypto before it's on the centralized exchange because why where do retail crypto buyers usually go they want to go to the centralized exchange to buy their crypto you ever you always hear what exchange is that on where do i go buy that crypto what exchange can i buy it on right because they don't know how to get onto a blockchain how to actually participate in crypto the way crypto was intended to be used you know what i'm saying right so this is why this is a good skill to have if you want to buy a certain crypto you say well where do i buy that crypto all you got to ask yourself or ask whoever wherever is what blockchain was that crypto developed on and then you just go to that blockchain find that de a decentralized exchange that you're able to use and swap for that crypto but how do I go about doing all of that? Well, that's what I'm gonna show you in this video. It's really simple to do, and I wanna show you how you can bridge over and buy PLS tokens on the Pulse chain, for example, but this applies to any crypto on any blockchain, all right? So the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to have a wallet. So whatever exchange that is that you buy your crypto, you exchange your crypto from fiat, that's the only reason you want to use an centralized exchange, by the way, is to on-ramp and off-ramp crypto to and from fiat. So once you exchange your fiat for crypto, you then want to send it to a wallet, okay? Now, you're going to want to use a Web3 wallet that will connect to different dApps in DeFi, okay? I would used to recommend MetaMask because, well, I used to use recommend MetaMask and then now I use a different one that I will recommend simply because with MetaMask, you're gonna to need to then copy and paste contract addresses for the tokens into your MetaMask, all right? And it only, the default is Ethereum blockchain, so right away you're on the Ethereum blockchain, you wanna to get to other blockchains, you're gonna to need to copy and paste uh, you know, RPCs, different uh, network addresses, and then you're gonna to need to know how to switch back and forth to those different blockchains whenever you wanna do so. And depending how long you've been in crypto, that probably sounds really foreign to you, right? Well, that's why I want to make it even more simple for you and recommend that you use a wallet called Rabi Wallet. All right, Rabi Wallet. I really like this wallet. This is really cool. This makes things so simple to use, okay? This will just streamline the process for you. This wallet automatically switches from different blockchains, whatever blockchain that it is that you are on, whatever, you know, the app or the, the dApp that you're on, that protocol, it can sense and tell what blockchain that that dApp is connected to and that is on, okay? And it switches your, your network in your wallet for you to use. If it doesn't, you just click the button, boom, and you're there, right? Easy, you don't have to add any RPCs, add any networks to your wallet. It's already there. Then your tokens. All your tokens, they're, they're, all, they're already in there. There might be a very new one that might not be there just yet, and then you can copy it in there. But, uh, you know, for the most part, they're all there. Really simple to use. There's no, there's no guesswork with this. This is re makes it really simple to use, okay, is a Rabi wallet. That's why I like it. Now, I also recommend, of course, hardware wallets, okay, because if you... If you really want to keep things secure, you're going to want to use hardware wallets. Now you can connect hardware wallets to your Rabi as well. I personally use, uh, I got a, a, a Trezor, I got a couple Trezor wallets, right? And I've got also Ledger wallets. I use Ledger wallets, right? So I use these, I connect them to my Rabi wallet, and then I do whatever I need to do, right? Really simple to use. Now, the first thing that you, of course, you're going to send your fiat into crypto on an exchange, and then you're going to send it to this wallet. And then the next step is, well, hey, I, I want to get onto the blockchains. I want to buy different cryptos, right? Well, whatever it is, if you want to buy Ethereum, well, of course, go over to the Ethereum blockchain, right? 
and you can send that right from the exchange. That's really simple. You're already there. Boom, you got it, right? But then if you want to get over to Pulse Chain, then you're going to need to use the bridge and buy over there. Okay? And I'll show you how to do that sort of thing. The first one is the native bridge, the original bridge Richard Hart developed for bridging from Ethereum network over to the Pulse Chain network. Okay? So the thing about this one that you need to realize is it is only Ethereum to Pulse Chain, Pulse Chain back to Ethereum, that sort of thing. All right, that's all you can do with this one. And then you also have to deal with the Ethereum gas fees, right? But if you don't want to deal with Ethereum gas fees, you can go over to like Polygon, Avalanche, you go over to other blockchains and where it's really cheap and you don't even need to use Ethereum, right? But this is really simple. You just use this, you just Ethereum over to the Pulse Chain, really simple to use, all right? Next one is Beetroot, Beetroot Privacy Hub. I like this one as well. This is really good, okay? You could use this one with any blockchain out there right now, okay? Several different options to choose from. Okay, now, one of the reasons why I'm also, uh, you know, want to show you and give you the option of different bridges that you can use is because you never know what happens. Sometimes some block or bridges are down for maintenance. And I, and I mentioned this because down here, you'll see Privacy Bridge, which is also a mixer, by the way. I really like it, okay? It's Privacy Bridge under maintenance, so you can't use it right now, okay? I used to use this one quite a bit. I like it, but you can't use it. It's under maintenance. So what else do I use? Well, that's why you need to know of other options, okay? And uh, Beetroot does have another other option as well within their hub, okay? And that is right here, the Anonymous Exchange. So we'll click on this. It brings you over to the exchange right here and you just, this is really simple to use. You use the top part, you can just choose your blockchain and your token. It then gives you an address that you need to send your Bitcoin to, okay? That's how you're able to use it with Bitcoin. It will give you an address, say, send us, well, first it'll ask you, where do you want us to send your PLS? You then paste in your PLS address, which is in your Rabi address, okay? You give them that address to send it to you and then they will give you a Bitcoin address to send your Bitcoin to. Really simple, okay? The next one is Portal X. I really like this one. This one is an aggregator, all right? This actually finds the best deals for you and it's really simple to use. All you need to do is you go over here and you connect your wallet or connect your wallet right here Okay, and once your wallet is connected, you don't need to send to an address and have them send it to another address. That stuff just like, uh, you know, with like Beetroot, you don't need to do it that way. You just connect your wallet. It sends it to the same address, okay? So it sends it to the same, because when you connect your, your Rabi wallet, by the way, that wallet, it connects to whatever blockchain, well, your wallet address is the same on every blockchain in that Rabi wallet, okay? So it just sends it to the same address is what it does. So you connect your wallet and then you go on this selection right here and you click select token first by selecting your blockchain right here and we'll use Bit or BNB for an example in this one. We'll click click uh, Binance Smart Chain which is BNB and then we will collect or click uh, BNB token, okay? And then we are going to select Pulse Chain on the bottom, select Pulse Chain for the blockchain and then PLS for the tokens. And we wanna select an amount, so we'll just say one BNB, okay? You see what it's doing right here? Finding optimal, it's, it's search for the best path. It's search for the best route for the cheapest, the best price for you. That's what the aggregator does, okay? So it found and it suggested that we're gonna use change now, okay? And so you connect your wallet and you just send it. It's going to use change now. You could use it just like this. Really simple to use, okay? Now you could also go right over to change now. All right, so you see that right over here? And then we can select whatever token that we want here on change now, okay? And you just select it from here, the, the, the selection, a drop down, and it's got your the token as well as the blockchain. So the token on whatever blockchain it is. So USDT, ETH, right? It's on the Ethereum blockchain. USDT on Tron blockchain. BNB on the Binance smart chain, okay? So this is what we can do. We can select that, and if we got our one BNB, then the bottom one, we wanna select Pulse Chain PLS, right? So we can just type that in, PLS, 
and we just do it this way just like that right and then it tells you how many you're going to get and then you just click exchange it then tells you what address or asks you what address you want your pls sent to and then it gives you an address to send your bnb to very similar to beetroot all right now so that's you know it's a little another extra step other than the portal x one okay you could also use Visa MasterCard on here, buy it with this. You may not be able to buy PLS, but you could buy BNB or you could buy Ethereum or Bitcoin, usually the top two, right? And then you could swap it into your PLS just like that. Another option for you, just so you know. And a nice DEX that I like to recommend is right here. This is pretty cool. This is another aggregator, okay? This is, this is PDOS, okay? You could use PDOS to swap around on the pulse chain network okay this is on pulse chain and this will actually give you the best rate it will choose a different rate so let's see here if i can it's going to then you see it's fetching the best price okay so this is the route that it found now there isn't a lot to choose from on pulse chain right now but as the blockchain really grows and there's more and more dexes then you know aggregators really come in handy because it finds the best price option for you right but if you want to check out the the, the route it's right here this is the route it tells you where it's going to right this is really cool i like this now as an added bonus here in this video i also wanted to show you something else you might be asking well hey that's great okay that's that's a dex for pulse chain right for pls to whatever other token it is that i want to choose from here on pulse chain right like this but what about other blockchains you said i can go to any other blockchain and all this sort of stuff and do all this right well how do i know where to go what what do i do what if I choose the blockchain and how do I find a DEX? What's the next step you might be thinking, right? Well, that's what I want to show you. I want to show you where you can go and you could find a lot of great information on this sort of stuff, right? Check this out. Okay, here we are on DeFi Llama, all right? Very quickly, I'm not gonna go through everything on this website, right? There's a lot on here, okay? You can sit on here all day and just surf around and check this out. A lot of great information, right? But I just want to show you the DEXs. Okay, so you want to go, for example, you say, well, I want to go and buy a token. They say it's on Avalanche, right? Well, where do I go? How do I swap that token on Avalanche, right? Well, I showed you how to then bridge over, use the bridges, right? You just select whatever bridge you're on to Avalanche. You bridge over there into the Avalanche token, the AVAX token. It's always best to have the native token on that blockchain, by the way, all right? That way, because it's used for gas, okay? So you got that AVAX token, it's on AVAX, but now you want to be able to swap that for a different token. You're on there, but you say, well, how do I do anything on that blockchain? You come here to DeFi Llama, all right? And on the left-hand side here, check this out. You see, you got all these different options that you can choose from, right? Well, you could even check right here where it says categories. Check on categories, okay? Now you see this, check this out, right? This is pretty cool. You see these different categories that you could start searching by? You see right up here, number four is bridge. So if you want to find more bridges, look at this. You got other bridges that you could find, okay? But I just showed you, showed you a few of them. But right up above bridge, number three is DEXs. This is where you want to go, is DEXs. Okay, so you click on DEXs because look, there's 1,700 or 1,076 protocols under DEXs. Now this isn't just one chain, this is across them all, right? There's a lot to choose from but you wanna choose Avalanche, right? So then what you do is you click on DEXs. It brings up all this whole list of, of DEXs, right? And you're like, well, still, now I want Avalanche though, remember? Okay, at the top, all these different blockchains. Click on, you see Avalanche? Click Avalanche. All right, now we're showing a list of DEXs on Avalanche. Now you can go and you can do your research right here for all the different DEXs. If you want to check out Trader Joe, right? You want to check out Curb. You want to check out, uh, you know, Platypus. You want to check out Balancer. You want to check out Uniswap 3. You want to check out all of these different DEXs. Now you can see and do your research on these DEXs, right? That's what you can do. But that's how you find a specific DEX. You can click on, for example, Trader Joe. It gives you more information about that DEX. Scroll down. You see here where it says the website. Now you click on the website. 
Then it brings you over to the Trader Joe Dex, okay? Upper left-hand corner, you see it says trade, click trade. Now you see, here's the exchange, here's a swap box. You're on the Avalanche network, now you could use the Dex to swap to whatever token it is that you want here on this Dex. Pretty cool, right? So again, if you found this helpful, if you found any value at all in this content, you know what to do. Smash that like button, drop me a comment down below. It really helped with the YouTube algorithm and help get this channel out there. As well, if you are enjoying the content and you're not yet subscribed, you know what to do. Click subscribe, click the bell so you're notified when new videos are released. And as well, head on over to the video that I've got posted right about here. I believe YouTube's recommending here for you. Head on over there. I'll see you there. And you have a great day. Bye for now.